Hi, this is Rich Harrington, and this week we're taking a look at a brand new camera. It's from Olympus, and it's got a cool name. It's the Tough TG1. Now, what you're seeing here are just some of the pictures that I captured. I took it out to Colorado for a quick day trip, and some of the options like in-camera HDR did a great job of capturing the sunset. I also shot in some pretty low light conditions as the sun was going down, and it did a nice job of holding up under the tough light. Now, this camera does not shoot raw. It's JPEG only, but I think it's a really versatile camera, and it's going to appeal to a whole bunch of you. This camera is for people who are on the go. What I mean by that is if you're doing sports or outdoor activities and you want a tough camera, you could drop this camera. It's sturdy. I'm not going to smash it on the table here, but it's definitely designed for wear and tear. If you look at the body here, you're going to see some really cool features. For example, on the bottom here, there's actually locks. And let's open up some of these compartments here. There we go. You see the compartment there, look at that, an actual weather seal around the battery. So if I push that in and lock it, and then lock it again, two tabs to make sure that that stays closed. Now you might be thinking, why do I need that? Well, at the end of the episode, I'll show you exactly why you need that. But for now, think about things like sports. If you're going to be skiing or in the rain, this camera is designed to take it. This is an all seasons type of camera and it's affordable. About a $400 camera body shoots video, stills, all sorts of things. It's got some good options too. Notice here on the front, this little ring can come right off. So what you actually have in there is the ability to attach additional lenses. So I'm going to go ahead and attach here the fisheye converter lens. It locks into place. I take that out and you see we got a great wide angle lens for doing fisheye type effects. A lot of folks like this too for shooting video, especially for things like snowboarding, skiing, those types, skateboarding, really cool shots, lets you see a much wider scene. A Couple of photos here I took using the wide angle lens, and I really like this, especially when shooting out in landscapes or going for some extra drama. So pretty cool here, lots of flexibility. What's nice is it's a very lightweight camera. Now without the wide angle lens, it's only half a pound. Some of the other things I really like is a clear menu system. Let's take a look at that. One of the things that's nice about Olympus is very straightforward controls. So as you mouse over something, you'll see that it actually puts a tooltip along the bottom of the frame telling you what that particular menu item is. The scene file though is one of the ones that's most useful. Now scene gives you the ability to change the type of shooting method and you'll see the choices across the top. Two of the more strange choices that I know will actually appeal to some of you is the ability to have face recognition, but not just for people, built-in pet mode. So if you have a dog or a cat and it detects it when the dog and cat is actually looking at the camera, it will fire the picture automatically. So if you're trying to get those action shots of your dog running through an agility course or your cat just going nuts on camera, you now actually know when the cat is looking at the camera and the camera is smart enough to wait to shoot. Underwater modes, which are great for shooting, pointing down or up. Now, one of the things that I think is most interesting is you actually have the ability for a documents mode. So if you have to shoot a close-up in a document, like you want to save it, or maybe you're doing espionage, you can actually take this material, shoot a close-up of the page, and it comes out nicely. Some of the other close-up ones, though, are going to be really useful. So for the foodies out there, you could shoot cuisine and easily post it and the ability to shoot under a variety of conditions like fireworks and sunset, self-portrait. So these modes are super useful and with a great sample image it really gives you an idea of what's possible and the camera has intelligent ability to adjust for shooting a wide range of conditions. All sorts of settings within the menus there, feel free to check them out. One of the more important ones is the ability to have an image stabilizer and a great built-in zoom up to four times magnification. So that menu system, lots of controls. I really like some of that in-camera processing. I found the HDR controls to be great. The ability to actually take images in tough situations that normally JPEG wouldn't work for and shoot those sunrises and sunsets. Just great dynamic range there to show that and it really worked. What I also liked is that it was super easy to use, all in-camera processing so I didn't have to do post-production afterwards. Now, this camera is called Tough for a reason, and I mentioned before those tight seals. Let's see what it does. All right, we are gonna test this out. Normally, 
This is water for drinking. For right now, it's going to be water for testing the camera. I'll just go ahead and put this over and I'm going to dip the camera and attempt to take a photo of our test subject here. Let's just put that into auto mode, put on the nice safety strap. Now this camera is waterproof. We're going to test it in front of you. I've never tried this before, so I'm hoping it works as advertised but the camera is supposed to be waterproof up to 40 feet. In fact, it'll even beep at you with an alarm warning you if you get too deep. All right, here goes. Now the glass is definitely giving it a little bit of a distortion, but let's turn that around so you can see. There's the screen. There's the picture I just took. I'll take a picture of the back of the set there and it's definitely working. and uh, still fine. So if you're looking for a tough camera, you want to take one with you when you go scuba diving or snorkeling, a family trip, maybe a ski trip, I really think you should check out the tough TG1 from Olympus because it passes the waterproof test, it passed the drop test, and I'm really happy with the in-camera HDR, which opens up all sorts of options that you might not have had before. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.